New data shows U.S. home prices are dropping at a historic level. According to Redfin, the median home sale price in April was down roughly 4% from last year. That's a decline of nearly $18,000. And it follows record high prices during the pandemic. If you're looking to buy a home soon, there's finally some good news for you. Home prices are now declining in specific cities across the country. Following the housing boom of the pandemic era, characterized by reduced interest rates and a surge of home buyers exploring new locations, the real estate market is finally displaying signs of a healthy turnaround. Redfin, a reputable real estate firm, recently reported a downward trend in housing sales and prices. And despite a significant shortage of available homes, housing prices are consistently dropping year after year. According to the report, there was a 1.9% decline in prices in the four weeks leading up to May 28th compared to the previous year. Interestingly, this trend isn't entirely new. In April, Redfin highlighted that the median home price had reduced by $18,000 since April 2022, and the decline has persisted with the median home price dropping from $408,031 to its current value of $377,750. This trend, which benefits potential buyers, is even more more prominent in certain cities such as number one Boise Idaho the median price at which homes are listed in Boise is six hundred and nine thousand eight hundred and seventy five dollars costing around two hundred and eighty two dollars per square foot over the past year there has been a decrease of seven point eight percent in the price per square foot compared to the previous year throughout the pandemic Boise was a prime example of surging home prices the demand for homes in this city skyrocketed with a significant influx of new residents over the recent years, mainly from California residents. And it's not hard to see why. The city meets many quality of life standards people often seek. Homes are more spacious than the national average and the region is rich in natural beauty with ample outdoor activities. Previously, homes in Boise, surrounded by mountains, were quite affordable. Then, the pandemic hit and the prices rose by about 63%. But recently, these these prices have begun to stabilize. This new adjustment is challenging for those who bought homes at the market's peak. But for prospective buyers searching for more budget-friendly homes in Boise, there are many options available for you now. For instance, you can find homes within the range of $350,000 to $425,000, including newly constructed properties. Number 2. Austin, Texas Regarding real estate hotspots, you can't mention Boise without bringing up Austin. Austin became a prime destination for remote and tech workers during the recent housing boom. With relatively more affordable home prices, a growing tech sector, and land ownership opportunities, Texas has witnessed significant growth in the past few years. Austin in particular experienced a steep rise in housing prices with the arrival of many out-of-state residents attracted to its vast opportunities and cheap real estate. Low interest rates and people relocating from pricier cities like San Francisco further accelerated this surge. However, there has been a noticeable shift in the housing market lately. In fact, about 25% of listed homes have dropped their prices to appeal to buyers. A newly built one-bedroom condo in East Austin is currently listed at $420,000 with a recent $5,000 price reduction. Number 3. Myrtle Beach, South Carolina The median home price in Myrtle Beach is $366,075 or $225 per square foot, reflecting a 7.3% drop from last year. Located at the heart of South Carolina's Grand Strand, Shoreline, Myrtle Beach is a favorite and budget-friendly summer destination due to its pristine beaches, boardwalk, amusement parks, and the nation's best value golf courses. In recent years, home prices have shot up, but they're now leveling out thanks to a boom in new construction. With the increase in available homes, buyers have more choices and don't feel as competitive to make competitive bids. But here's the downside. Homes in Myrtle Beach are smaller. This might work for you if you're not looking for an enormous property. The average home price here is about 15 to 20 percent below the national average. For instance, this renovated three-bedroom, two-bathroom house is on the market for $284,900 after a $15,000 price cut. Number 4. Phoenix, Arizona During the COVID-19 pandemic, 
pandemic, real estate prices in Phoenix got as hot as its scorching summer. The home values in this area increased by over 50%. However, the median price per square foot has recently decreased by more than 5%. Currently, the median home price in Phoenix is $529,450 with a price per square foot of $274. This indicates a 5.6% decrease from the previous year. The current decline brings a sense of deja vu. Similar circumstances were experienced in 2008 during the Great Recession when housing values dropped by over 50% in Phoenix. This left many homeowners with bad loans. Some were forced to default on their mortgages and abandon their homes. Though economists don't think this scenario will happen again, signs of a slowdown are evident as about a quarter of the houses listed in February 2023 have undergone price reductions. This situation is partially influenced by the significant growth potential of Phoenix. For instance, its mild climate throughout the year enables year-round construction without the hindrance of severe winters. Furthermore, the expanse of land surrounding Phoenix provides developers the opportunity for continuous outward expansion. But despite the decrease in prices, sellers still have a slight advantage in the market. The demand from buyers remains high, whereas the availability of homes is comparatively limited. You might have to use your negotiation skills here. Number 5. Sarasota, Florida This city, located about an hour south of Tampa on the southwestern coast of Florida, has witnessed a significant increase in the number of homes listed for sale, earning it a spot on our list. This shift reflects the evolving real estate trends in the region. Homes in Sarasota are currently taking longer to sell compared to the past. On average, a property stays listed for close to 8 weeks, which is double the time from the previous year. This area's prevailing median listing price is about $549,900, with the price per square foot averaging $305. Interestingly, there has been a 4.7% dip in the price per square foot from last year. A notable example is this stylish mid-century three-bedroom home situated near downtown Sarasota. Minnesota. The asking price of this home has been adjusted to a more enticing $499,000 to attract prospective buyers. Number 6. Salt Lake City, Utah Over the past few years, Salt Lake City has emerged as a desirable location, especially in the tech industry. The city's growing popularity among tech companies and their workforce contributed to a steady increase in housing prices. This trend continued until recently when prices began to stabilize. The median listing price for homes currently stands at $635,000 and when you break this down, it equates to a cost of $247 per square foot. Interestingly, there has been a decline in the year-over-year -year price per square foot by 4%. What sets Salt Lake City apart from other metropolitan areas is the sheer size of its homes. Homes in this city are, on average, the largest among all the urban areas on our list. This makes it an attractive option for those seeking spacious homes at reasonable rates. Interestingly, even the most luxurious and spacious homes are selling quickly due to high demand, often resulting in intense competition among potential buyers. The Ogden metro area, located north of Salt Lake City, presents a more budget-friendly alternative. Not only are the homes generally less expensive, but there has also been a significant increase in the number of listings available. Over the past year, listings in Ogden have tripled, so if you're interested, there is a wide range of options. Number 7. Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania Pittsburgh, commonly known as the Steel City, is a notable exception on our list, dominated by western and southern cities. Although the homes in Pittsburgh tend to be smaller, with an average size of about 1,600 square feet, the town offers significant value for money. The cost per square foot here is roughly a third less than the national average, making the overall price of homes here considerably more affordable than in many other regions. Moreover, unlike many cities that saw a spike in home prices during the the pandemic, Pittsburgh remained relatively stable. However, the overall slowdown in the housing market has affected its prices. 
For instance, if you are house hunting in the area, a 3 bedroom home in the Southside Flats neighborhood is priced at $285,000. According to Realtor.com, its price was recently reduced by $10,000. Number 8. Winston-Salem, North Carolina The housing market in Winston-Salem has some unique trends compared to other metropolitan areas on our list. Even though the median price per square foot has decreased by 3.6% from the previous year, the overall home prices in the area are still rising. This can be attributed to the changing preferences of home buyers. As mortgage rates went up and buyers' budgets became tighter, there was a shift towards favoring smaller, less expensive homes. As a result, these smaller homes were quickly bought up, leaving the larger, pricier homes on the market. These unsold larger homes are influencing the overall average price for the area. Even though the cost of real estate has become cheaper per square foot compared to the previous year. If you were to compare, homes in Winston-Salem are priced around $100,000 higher than those in Pittsburgh. However, the median home size in Winston-Salem exceeds that of Pittsburgh by over 500 square feet, offering buyers better value in terms of space. For instance, this nearly century-old three-bedroom house located about 10 minutes from downtown Winston-Salem is currently on the market for $220,000 after a $9,000 price reduction. So what does this trend of declining prices mean for you? As home prices in these cities become more reasonable, potential buyers like you now have a chance to secure a property. Well, that brings us to the end of the video. Thank you for watching and staying with me till the end. If you have any comments or thoughts you would like to share, please do so in the comment section below.